I'm getting LASIK surgery done today. I'm getting it done so I can see better. I'm tired of wearing glasses and putting contacts in in the morning. You know, I have dry eyes, so when I wake up in the morning, it's not like I want to stick something foreign in my eyes. I met with Arezzo and determined that the eye LASIK procedure was the best procedure for him. I think LASIK is going to impact me, especially when I'm traveling. I'm not worrying about breaking my glasses or having to you know, find anything if anything happens to him, like when I'm overseas. And just being able to see everything super clearly, I think that's going to be an awesome experience. LASIK, otherwise known as in situ laser assisted keratomalusis, is a procedure which involves two lasers to correct one's vision. The actual procedure, the experience that I had, wasn't bad at all. Like at first, I expected it to kind of be, I expected it first to be longer than it was. I was more nervous, but it was painless. You know, it was quick and it was painless. The laser vision correction procedures take about five minutes an eye to perform. It's a modern miracle. It enables people to see without glasses or contact lenses and gives people the opportunity to experience visual freedom. It was about 15 minutes after the procedure when I noticed my vision was improving. Obviously, there was a little bit of cloudiness right after the procedure. I still had to wear dark glasses. I was sensitive to light, but immediately you can tell that there's some, some clarity there that you didn't have before. Laser vision correction can correct nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism. That's most prescriptions that exist. I'm very pleased with the results from the procedure. The number one thing I, I think I'm happy with is when you're not wearing your glasses and somebody is saying hi to you from a distance and you're kind of like, who is that person? <laughs> I have no idea who that person is and you don't want to be mean so you kind of like wave and now I can actually see who they are. Depending upon one's prescription, as much as 98% of the people, that's almost everyone, sees 20-20 or better. And in low to moderate prescriptions, Almost three quarters of the people see 2015 or better, better than 2020 vision. Okay, Russ, if you will, go ahead and hold that up to your left eye for me, please. And then looking on the eye chart, what's the lowest line you can make out? APEO. Excellent. I came in for my post-op checkup and they ran me through the tests that they did before. And when they ran me through the set of eye charts, there was lines before that I didn't even really know had letters on them and then afterwards I wasn't even squinting, wasn't even struggling to see them. I could just, you know, call them out. They said I had 2015 vision in my right eye and my left eye. I had 2020 vision but combined it was 2015 and that was better than I could have expected. I was, I was stoked to have 2015 vision. Dr. Feldman exceeded my expectations actually. My brother got surgery here uh, a few years ago and so I knew she was good. She was right on target. His vision in each eye is 2015 or better, 2010, and he's seeing everything. He has a little bit of dryness. As the eye heals, dryness improves over time. It's fantastic. I'd like to thank Dr. Feldman for doing good work, you know, being great at what she does and giving me a new set of eyes for the rest of my life.